KJ got that fire. KJ got that fire. I'm jumping through the obstacles. I made it through the wire. KJ got that fire. KJ got that fire. Someone call the ambulance on the wire. Hello there. <laughs> All right. Well, hello guys, and welcome to just to clarify. And I'm your girl, the host with the most, Deja Rich or Dejanae. My real name is Dejanae. <laughs> um, but hello, and I want to first say sorry if you were expecting a blog post yesterday. I tried to update my blog for YouTube, and the internet was down, and I saw it recording, but then it, I don't know, something happened. But also, and according to that, um, the four. Yesterday, so Thursday, the internet was down when I was trying to be in a library studying. So, just want to get that off my chest. So, just to apologize and say things like that. But I'm just going to get right into it. Yas. So, I'm going to spill some to you. So, Ray J just announced that he would be the replacement to Tamar Braxton on The Real, which is a roundtable female talk show. Uh, for all audiences, but obviously mostly for women. They talk about media, news, and just their perspectives on love, dating, all those happy little things. And I think it's a great idea that he's going to be a new host because he gives the male perspective of, you know, love, dating relationships, and family versus just having all females. Also, uh, some background information. So Tamar Braxton is an R&B singer, a part of the Braxton family, if you don't know. Tony Braxton, who sung Unbreak My Heart and a multiple, multitude of other um, hits. Uh, so that is, that is her sister. But she was basically fired because of the relationship that she fostered with her co-host. Um, it wasn't pretty. A lot of rumors about her being nasty and just rude overall so she was fired and now Ray J is hired so um also some more background information if you don't know who Ray J is he is the brother of Brandy the singer um who's done multiple albums and um you know I remember her mostly for the Black Cinderella movie that came out in the 1990s when I was like really young but she's also uh, starred in different things as well and uh, he's had you know some hits too since he is a R&B singer he had One Wish he also had I Hit It <laughs> if you don't remember from Kim Kardashian and his sex tape leaking he did make a song of, of that I would encourage everybody to search that because it is real um, and also he had his own love dating show called For the Love of Ray J that was basically a morph of um, I Love New York, Rock of Love, and The Flavor of Love with Flav Flav, the rapper. So, all in that to say, I'm very excited for him to be as um, on the host of The Real and sharing his opinions, his thoughts, his values, per se. And, you know, hope for the best for him. And I think him going to social media to announce it was a big surprise, surprise. A lot of fans been reacting to it, so I just wanted to debut that as my headliner saying, hey guys, you are not too masculine to be on a uh, talk show. <laughs> so, hey. <laughs> and I also wanted to give a great honorable mention to the Black Mirror trailer that just um, came out. So uh, they d debuted about five or six um, new episodes that will be coming about in December, December 29th to be exact. So I'm very, very excited. I'm a fan of the show um, written by Charlie Brooker. And, you know, it being a UK show, they have some, uh, they do have UK stars um, or just, just, you know, Scandinavian and Irish and UK stars or all, all over. But, Anywho, I, I really do enjoy the show. The show is really about a dystopian, futuristic world where they talk about a lot of um, current things that are happening. So one episode kind of, I feel like, predicted the Trump era that we're in now and talks about how social media, how we rely on it, and our idea of relationships and death being in a very cyber 
um, dystopian world. So it, it has a, a very sci-fi, heavily sci-fi influence uh, if you're into that. And so to talk more about the episodes, there were five to six um, different trailers. Uh, the names of those are uh, The USS Callister, um, Hang the DJ, um, Metalhead, um, Crocodile, Archangel, and Black Museum. So Jodie Foster, a well-known actress, will actually be directing the Archangel episode as well as the um, headlining actress from Chewing Gum, Netflix's original. Michaela Cole will also be starring in another Black Mirror episode, and that's really why she took off from her Chewing Gum um, series. So she wasn't quitting. A lot of fans thought, like, the show ended, but really uh, what it was is that UK has a different um, television system or film system, so she didn't quite mean it that she was quitting chewing gum. She was just taking a break, and you can now see her on the Black Mirror. So I'm very, very excited. I really love that show. It's, it's I feel like I would group it within Stranger Things and Dark, which is a new Netflix original. So those Netflix originals, do not sleep on them. <laughs> All right. And so that was a little bit of uh, the media and entertainment, but more going into the music slash entertainment uh, segment of my whole blog. Motorsport, the video just uh, released on December 6th, and that stars Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, and um, Migos. And it was directed by Pablo uh, Cuevo and Bradley. And that also has a Fast and Furious meets Tokyo Drift type of ensemble. And the whole video is pictured in like a futuristic city. Um, and it's quite like alluring, really. It has Cardi B, you know, her femme C entertainment, <laughs> uh, rapping to her own lyrics with uh, Offset in the background, but he's just in the background while she's standing there in her robotic kind of cyber colorful bodysuit that she has on. And she really just takes the cake there. And so a big question or issue a lot of fans been having is this one scene, which I think is kind of like, eh. <laughs> it's kind of irrelevant, but the scene where Nicki Minaj is in her own scene wearing this all-white body uh, futuristic suit with her very long 40-inch pink braids. Like, I don't understand how she keeps her head up at night <laughs> with all that hair, but um, it's was, it was really quite great. But people are saying, well, that's fostering more of their um, allegations that they don't really like each other don't really respect each other and there's really a rivalry between the two uh, uh, female rappers who are really hot in the game right now. I, when I saw it in the video, I thought it was okay. It, I didn't really strike it as a rivalry, but that's just a chatter going on on Twitter and Facebook right about now. So I just wanted to give my two cents in on that. <laughs> but overall, the video was good. I love this song. If you haven't heard of Motorsport, definitely look it up on Spotify or YouTube or, you know, wherever. It's really trending right now. And the fans love it. I love it. So it's great. It's a great, 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 great video. <laughs> and lastly, I just want to make a very honorable mention. This year, People Magazine uh, debuted their Sexiest Man Alive um, head title who they voted was Blake Shelton, the country singer. I just have several questions, so I'm going to take several seats. Oh, already sitting. So I just want to ask, like, is there a board or a system that really talks about who gets um, put for sexiest man or woman alive? Like, every year they have new people debuting on the front covers, I guess because of people who's trending or who's, having a lot of chatter but I know there must be a board or some people who delegate this but I really would like to know who sets that up how do they set it up what's the process because I'm sorry Blake Sheldon is not really my forte for sexiest man alive I thought there were so many other different people who could have been nominated but they weren't or they obviously didn't show up on the cover 
and I saw that and was flabbergasted. <laughs> um, but he is, I guess, really the sexiest man alive, and his um, partner, Gwen Stefani, actually encouraged him to embrace being the sexiest man alive for People Magazine, um, even though he's kind of, like, rebutting it right now. I say kudos to him and, you know, being getting that nomination, but I just thought that was a little more two cents of my tea. Um, and you can read more about his whole full story on People Mag, and that's the closing for that. So now we're heading into hardcore news. So a 13-year-old girl by the name of Rosalie Avili, Avia um, was uh, committed suicide uh, a couple weeks ago, and now her family is being subjected to very malicious memes from the people who bullied her. So she basically committed suicide because she was already having... Um, rough time in school judged by her diary where her, where her mom uh, saw her thoughts and secrets but it, it's crazy to me because now the family is actually getting bullied from her bulliers through social media on what on an instagram account one of the memes that came up was the the face of the girl saying oh you shouldn't have like buried me here it should have been in here and that text was next to like a ditch for a coffin or um, you know a person who passed away and I just think that's crazy because it, you know kids are very mean and now with social media it seems like nothing is ever private and it goes beyond like okay what is cyberbullying and obviously this does contest as cyberbullying and I really got to give it to the family of my condolences for everything they're going through. And the mother really said, you know, this is kind of crazy what we're doing right now. And first of all, no one should have to find their daughter like that. Um, so I just think that the bulliers really need to get their lives together and, you know, be honest and trying to be sorry or acting like it, even though. They're obviously clearly not with these horrible memes to the family. And in other news, um, there's been a lot of West Coast fires that have been appearing in the Los Angeles and San Diego region. So there have been like thousands of fires that have been happening within the Ventura, San Diego, Santa Barbara, um, Los Angeles uh, regions, and they're spreading, spreading like crazy. A lot of wildlife is really losing their homes the wildlife animals are losing their homes and the governor of this county is saying to people like please invite them in please let them into your backyards because now they have nowhere to go i actually saw on cnn one guy trying to save a bunny while he was just you know out in the open with no protection and no gas mask or something to cover his his, lung, uh, his breath and his lungs, so it's, it's really crazy. But then on the other hand, there's been 160,000 acres that have been cleaned by these fires, and about 190,000 people have evacuated or lost their homes because of these fires with very um, small memorabilia, like photos or um, personal items in their pets. So it's, it's really harsh um, to hear about this, and it's really kind of an enigma because it is um, the start of December and you expect this type of thing in the summer where it's very hot, dry weather. But I've always known California to be a state where they do suffer from a lot of um, fires. I'm not sure whether these are start by just drought or um, someone actually starts these fires from smoking or things. But... Um, I know Trump just uh, sounded off on a federal emergency for these counties from the Department of Homeland Security and FEMA to evacuate and, you know, to address this as a serious manner that needs to um, have um, relevancy to these counties. Um, many videos are out there um, with people driving and they're seeing you know, huge explosions and fires happening. So 
I really do wish my condolences and um, thoughts to people in the West Coast that are going through this. And so that was news. And now to technology. So if you haven't noticed, I love technology. And this one technological device has really um, piqued my interest. Um, there is a family-oriented uh, artificial intelligence device named Jibo. And Jibo was produced or made by Cynthia Purcell, who is an IT professor. And she created this with the mindset of having a artificial intelligence device that can cater to family, that can cater to their needs, and um, just kind of be more interactive than the common like Alexa, Amazon Echo Alexa is. And I've seen pictures of it, I've seen videos of what it can do, and it's actually quite genius. The things that it can say and do and how it just interacts really with the family. I watched an introduction um, that Jibbo gave to himself saying, huh, oh, I'm Jibbo. And it just went to on into all the things and details it can do. So, I mean, if you're into artificial intelligence, I say buy it. Then when I saw the price, I was like, yikes. So just for the regular Jibbo without the... Um, SDK like technology is about $499, but everything whole, holistically in the package is about $799. And that's just too much <laughs> in my end. But maybe for some of you out there, that is a really smart investment. Um, technology is always here to stay, and I'm always looking for new ways to think about technology so in a sense I feel like Jibbo is kind of like a revolutionized art um R2D2 if you guys know Star Wars or you're into sci-fi you know have a personal assistant have a personal uh, device to really interact with and cater to your whims and questions you know so if, I feel like if there is another step up from Jibbo in the future, I'm just going to be like, well, I guess humans are <laughs> obsolete now. We don't, we don't need to be here anymore. <laughs> but yes, so that is all for this Just to Clarify blog. And so I'm hoping to keep up this blog over the winter break. And I'm hoping to, you know, get a little better at blogging, blogging, blogging <laughs> with you guys and interested to hear just some feedback about how you guys been enjoying my blogs and um, how can I improve it. Always looking for that. So leave comments, questions, concerns below. Hi, Deja got that fire. Deja got that fire. I'm jumping through the obstacles. I made it through the wire. Deja got that fire. Deja got that fire. Someone call the ambulance. Don't know why you